Hi guys and welcome back to Sherry Vibes. Today the fragrance I have for you is a perfect gourmand fragrance. You guys are going to love it if you are in love with gourmand fragrances. And this one is none other than Serge Luton's Chirgi. I am a big, 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 big gourmand fan. I love gourmand fragrances. I want to wear gourmand fragrances all the time. I know you cannot wear it in the high heat, but still I am the person who would wear gourmand fragrances everywhere. And Serge Luton Chirgi is not far away when it comes to my favorite gourmands. So while we are at it and we are talking about gourmand fragrances, let's just specify what is a gourmand fragrance. So a gourmand fragrance is a fragrance that you want to eat. A fragrance that is sweet but smells like dessert or smells like something edible you know something sweet that is edible so hence from the term gourmand because it is something you want to eat uh, it smells like cupcakes smells like marzipan smells like cake smells like vanilla smells, smells like cookies smells like cookie dough anything like that and smells a little bit powdery with almonds anything like that is a gourmand fragrance and i am a gourmand lover <laughs> so chirgi is one of my favorites when it comes to gourmands <sighs> because even though because even though chirgi is not a hundred percent gourmand fragrance it kind of comes into that realm so the very dominant notes in this one are honey, tobacco, iris, and hay. So yeah, hay, the, the, the grass thing, hay. And uh, you also get musk, which makes it even more powdery combined with the iris. So some people do say that it smells like powder, not like baby powder, but the powder that you use of a sweet kind of powder, it smells like that. Yeah, I get the I get the idea, but not really. This smells very classy. So imagine tobacco mixed with a bit of honey, mixed with a bit of iris, and iris has this lipsticky, makeupy kind of feel, and then that is topped by hay and musk. So it, it is a beautiful concoction. Um, this one is quite rare now. You don't get this everywhere, and also costs a lot. Uh, I think in Pakistan, this uh, 50 ml bottle costs about uh, 14,000 rupees, 14, 15,000, something like that, along those lines. And but this is a this is really a fragrance for people who love who love uh, art in fragrances. This is a very beautiful, very artsy fragrance. And if you are not a fragrance snob, you would think that this is mostly for women because this has that iris and that honey which makes it very sweet and makeup like but then it is also kicked back with that tobacco so which makes it 100% in my opinion a unisex fragrance so it is a sweet honey tobacco fragrance with my favorite note of iris in it which makes it powdery and hence I love it do you guys see the color of this juice this juice is it does last long on you. I'm not going to say it's potent. I was going to say, but I stopped there. It's not potent. No, it's not potent. It will stay on your clothes for a long time, but it will not project very heavily. It is a close encounter kind of a fragrance, but that's not a bad thing. Close encounter fragrances are really good because they make the other person feel very comfy. So if you like gourmand fragrances that are not extremely loud, but smell absolutely beautiful, then you have to go for Chirgi. It is sweet honey tobacco fragrance. If you can wrap your head around that, you will like this. And in simple words for people who do not understand notes, it is a sweet powder kind of fragrance. The ages, I think anybody above 25 can easily rock this. And um, for the occasions, I think you can wear it anywhere but probably it won't be too successful when you're wearing it to big events or when you're wearing it somewhere where where people not are not or if you wear it to an event where people are not going to come very close to you 
maybe a lot of people would not be able to detect your fragrance but when they do come close when you give, they give you a hug they will smell this on you and it will smell beautiful the seasons i would say obviously obviously it's a gourmand so in colder seasons or uh, in the summers if you plan to be in air conditioned environments go for it there will be no problem and lastly i'll uh, show you the box this one comes in this is the small box this comes in and that's about it very simple packaging a beautiful fragrance for people who love gourmand fragrances if you love the likes of uh, fev delicious ani and a lot a lot of these fragrances um for that matter also valentino uomo intense it is in that um uh, it is in that category of sweetness and powderiness so search lutens chergi a beautiful 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 fragrance if you want gourmand fragrances go find chergi if you can find it you're lucky and i will see you in my next video till then you know what to do <sighs> stay chergi i mean stay fragrant